Hey guys, it's Chandra and I am going to do a tutorial on how to I made this graduation mini album. Um, the covers are six and a half by eight and a half, so the pages are six by eight. And I did a walkthrough of this mini album on my Facebook page. There's a pocket here, but I think the tag's back here. So I am going to show you how I made these pages. Now there are six pages and I did five of them school and then the last one I did sports for my son and I used a mixture of these papers that will show you now. Um, I used Doodlebugs Design Back to School and I used almost all of those from two packets so on this one I will be using um, more of the die cuts with the view high school pack and I have the grade school pack. And then also I got this baseball paper off of Amazon. It's called Reminiscence Baseball. That's all it says on there. And this paper is like kind of cool. It's really smooth and shiny. Um, I don't know if you can get the glare. Yeah, you can see the glare off there. So I used that part for the baseball part, and then I bought the Doodlebug Designs Yankee Doodle because it had the same colors as the Doodlebugs Back to School, so I could use them as filler pages. So I'll be using these um, papers to decorate the album. And then I had these stickers from the paper studio that I used to decorate mine. And I only used um, the headers on the top that, that said what grade it is. So I will be using the rest of these um, to decorate this album. As well as some cut aparts that I still have left from the Doodlebug paper collection. And some random stickers from Sticko. And then I will be using the Cricut cartridge locker talk um, to cut out maybe some of the headers for the years like um has kindergarten i don't know if you can see that from down there i don't know if it's focusing but it has kindergarten preschool first grade second grade um so i will see about cutting these out and putting them in there for page headers so i'm going to put all this aside and i'm going to run through what you need to make this album and then it will also be in the description box below. So I have two sheets of 12 by 12 and that's the only card stock that's not patterned that I'll be using 12 by 12. The rest of it I cut out of 8.5 by 11 but I'm going to use these two sheets to wrap the spine which for the covers you need two pieces that measure 6.5 by 8.5 and, and the spine is 2.25 by 8.5. So if you want more than six pages you'll just make your spine bigger. Um, you'll need one sheet of eight and a half by 11 for your binding or whatever binding that you want. Then you're going to need six pieces that measure 11 by eight, six pieces that measure seven by five, and six pieces that measure six by nine. And I wanted to show you how I cut um, my pages so that I could get two pages out of one eight and a half by eleven. So let me see if I can bring this down here. So this is eight and a half this way and eleven this way. So what I did first was I cut the paper to seven and three quarters. So where it is. So this is my eight and a half by eleven. Let me zoom back out a little bit. So the first thing I did was cut it this way um, at seven and three quarters. Then I rotated it in my cutter and cut five and three quarters. And then what was left was a piece that was like five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. So I cut this piece down to five by seven. So I got, that's why those two measurements are next to each other on my little cheat sheet here. So then you'll need six, six by nines and then the seven and three quarter by five and three quarters, you'll need 12 because those are the pockets. Um, those are for the pockets of the page itself and also the pocket for the tags, I should say, for the pockets on the back of the page. Okay, let's get this 
that got out of the way. So I am going to first start with scoring all like size papers. Let me zoom back out here. I just have my scoreboard and I have my score tool. I already have everything cut out. And so the first ones I'm going to score are the 11 by eight. So I'm gonna stick them in so that the 11 inch side is at the top and the eight inch side is going vertical. And I'm going to score this at six inches. I'm doing six inches from the left. And I'm gonna do that on all. Again, the 11 inch side is at the top. I'm holding it so that it's up against the corner here and against the side so I get a nice even score and I'm scoring it at six inches and this is what's going to create the page with the flap this is a very simple album so it's not hard at all so again my son just tried to come in here I haven't seen him all day but you know 10 o'clock at night he wants to come love him all right so I have the six pieces um, I have so many pieces of paper cut up here I have to quickly measure that's the nine inch one. I need the seven by five. This is for the tags. Okay, these are the seven by five. And we're gonna score these um, on three sides because this is going to be a pocket. So it's just like any other pocket. I'm gonna stick it in so that the seven inch side is at the top. I'm gonna score it half an inch and then at six and a half. And I'm going to rotate it a quarter and I'm going to score on the five inch side at half an inch. So we've created a U shape and I'm going to do that on all six pages. Again, seven inch side is at the top, making sure that it's butted against the side and against the front. And I'm scoring at half an inch and at six and a half. I'm going to rotate it and score at half an inch. If you don't like scoring so close to this side, you can always score at half an inch over here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I am using Recollections brand cardstock. I have a week off of school right now, so I am able to craft a little bit instead of reading and studying the whole time. It's crazy. How much reading you have to do. It's a good thing I don't mind reading, but I think when we get to history, I'm going to fall asleep half the time. I like watching history on TV, but I don't know. Anyway, that's the last of those. So those were the five by seven sheets that are going to create the pocket. And now this six by nine sheet is going to create the page pocket and also how we attach it to our binding. So on the nine inch side, so the nine inch side is at the top, we're gonna to score at half an inch and then at eight and a half. Once again, the nine inch side is at the top, we're gonna to score at half an inch and then at eight and a half. If this is going too fast for you, there's a little icon on your screen that looks like a gear. You can click on that and you can slow the speed down or you can hit pause if you choose to work along with me. Um, that is completely fine. So these are the pages that we made. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold on all my score marks. And then I will come back. You know what? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold on these flaps. This is the nine by six, you'll end up with two flaps like this. I'm going to place my adhesive and I'm using score tape. I get it at score-pal.com. That's where I've gotten it for several years. So that's the six by nine or nine by six, however you want to say it, that's that sheet folded. Okay, so you can do that to all of those. 
Now you have the seven by five that we scored on three sides. I'm going to fold that. And there's still people lighting off fireworks. At least I don't have to work tomorrow. Nothing more drives me nuts. And I don't know I mean, if I'm getting too old for this or what, but I don't want to hear fireworks at 12 o'clock at night when I have to work the next day, which basically 4th of July is kind of weird in the week and you and most people have to work the next day. Um, reach into the wire. All right. So once you fold, I'm going to flip it over just so that you can see it better. Once you fold, you end up with this little square pattern here on your paper. And what you want to do is you want to cut it at an angle and cut this piece out. And you want to do that on all of your pockets. Okay, so we'll do that. And then the last piece that we have to do anything to is the 11 by 8. And all you're going to do is simply fold it over, line it up on the side to make sure it's lined up, and then just burnish it down like that. And then when we get back to the next video, I'll show you how to put the pages together.